Hi, thanks for joining us back here on uh, Pro35 on the uh, Crime Scene platform. Thanks for all of you that are participating on Crime Scene. Hey, uh, we've got a real problem. Uh, this happens to be in Tulsa, and anyone that's leaving vehicles, customer vehicles on their property to be uh, worked on, to be repaired, uh, car dealerships, really bad problem. We've got a, a huge problem in people coming in and opening cars. Uh, in the middle of the morning and if you'll notice they sh try to shield themselves from the cameras uh, wearing ball caps and hoodies and keeping their face out of the view of the camera a lot of times this particular person has a ball cap turned around backwards so he can look in all the windows um, he ended up breaking a window on one car to get in and he stole a uh, ashes of a loved one because it was in a nice stainless steel container sitting on the dash of a car. So hopefully people will not leave things of value or close to their heart in their cars when they leave them to be worked on. You'll see several of these cars that he goes and looks in. The cars are unlocked and everything is gone out of them because they've had such a huge problem uh, at all of the any place that's got cars stored overnight. So he is uh, going car to car, opening the ones that are unlocked, and he did break the window to remove a uh, an ash container. And he spends a little bit of time here, but not enough for us to catch up with him. The reason I want to get this video out is because if you're in the area of 15th and Memorial, this guy lives in the neighborhood and he goes around to anyone that's got cars stored and he ransacks through them. So let's pay attention to what he's wearing. Green shirt, sleeveless shirt, tie-dye pants, tennis shoes, and that black hat turned backwards with a logo on it. But uh, if you look at the crime scene report, we'll have a photo of that specific image right there. But he's going car to car, and I guarantee you he went to the next lot. You can see this is right at midnight. So when we go to bed, he goes to work. And as far as he's concerned, nobody knows he's there. So let's pay attention and see if we can... See if we can identify this guy. We're putting $100 up for his name for any information. And uh, join us on Crime Scene and let's all work together and see if we can catch these guys. Thank you.